the first thing to do is to make an assessment of the site. How is it enclosed? Where are the edges? Um, how does the house sit onto the property? What are the entrances and exits? How does the circulation work? Um, the th all the practical things that need to be done because a landscape needs to be serviceable. It's, it's, it's not a painting. It can be, but, it, but above all else, it has to work. It has to function. It has a job to do. And you better make sure that you've got the grading right. That's the first thing that we would ask for in terms of a new project. You have to have a survey, and we send the client the survey, the conditions of the survey that have to be included. We can't work on any project without a survey. So then once you have the survey and you know what the grading is, you know where the water is falling and going. You understand where the boundaries are and what the setbacks are. Uh, there's so many uh, civil engineering things that need to be understood and accepted. Then what we do is we can sit down with maybe three or four of us once we have that information and guess what we do? We make a brain drawing. <laughs> That's what we were known for. You've got to, okay, where's your brain drawing? You have to have a brain drawing that shows all of those things. What's the property boundaries? What are the setbacks? What are the assets? What are the, what are the most difficult aspects uh, to the site? Is there a bad drainage problem? What about lighting? Do you have a lot of street lights? Do you have, what kind of ambient light do you have? Garden lighting is just as important as the planting because people in California sit outside. We enjoy the weather all year long. And so there's no reason why the lighting shouldn't be included in that portion of the design. The brain drawing is everything. And it's everything at what time. And, those, and usually a brain drawing, when someone's working on it, uh, there's three or four people working on it and everybody's got ideas. And that, that, um, that working together part uh, is really fun because everybody has ideas and, and well what about this we could do this over here and move that over here um, and then there are issues of uh, screening out unwanted views and opening up new views because you could make a completely different project just by hiding where the fence is uh, just so that you get a borrowed landscape. It looks like it's your yard, you know. It looks like part of your property. That's the easiest thing to do to make a place feel much bigger and to, to please the clients. But most of all, you have to have a skillfully prepared survey. That's the biggest thing. And it has to be very thorough. And we have three or four surveyors that we work with and they're all top notch. The survey is where you start. You have to have that survey and have that information so that you know what the grading is, you know where the sun is coming from, and then you start getting into the issues of, of light, how much light falls to the earth, how much could we open up or could we screen more, do you need more or less? There's so many intuitive things about looking at a site for the first time. 